Arworth Labs top secrets. Uh, top secret. Uh, let's see. Darling, you said, I don't suppose you have a better idea, but here's my idea. Let me ask about witches. I know, I know, they're superstitious idiots, but they were always talking about psychoactive herbs, and they were actually rather clever women when my mom had, had them over. And they know every weed and stingy hallucinogenic fog in all of homes. And I've been racking my brain about the inventory problem. I don't think we're going to find any more caches of old German goodies. XOXOXO. XO, Sally. Add in Gemma's handwriting. Junish, 1961, I think. Sally Boyle's handwriting. Presumably to Dr. V. Memo 2. Beloved. Please don't be cross. Just because they don't have university degrees in science doesn't mean that they don't know any science. You've got to stop underestimating people who don't think the way that you do. Are you sure you're not thinking about this emotionally? And I know you ha uh, and I know how you hate that. St. John's wort does contain a serotonin reuptake inhibitor and it does make sad people less grumpy for example we could advise advertise the new compound as a different flavor of joy strawberries say wouldn't that sound jolly if some people take the new flavors then our supplies could last a few years longer possibly till 1964 and by then maybe the monkey will learn to talk just give it a ponder please for your sally xoxoxo Gemma's handwriting, July-ish, 61, Sally again. Memo number three. No, I don't care that you took credit for Strawberry. I don't care who gets credit so long as people are happy. And I certainly was not trying to impress the general. No, I'm not worried. Or, no, I'm worried that you promised a permanent solution. Of course, you know far more about biochemistry than I do. But I've never heard of a drug that permanently alters brain chemistry. Is that even possible? Is there a mechanism? Can you just chemically burn out all of the sad, receptor sad receptors in the brain? The only permanent solutions I know involve electroshock or surgery, and we're back to phrenology. I think I read people a little bit better than you do, darling. The general is all very affable, but we've now promised him results. We all know what happened to the last guy who didn't deserve uh, deliver him results, you know? Please tell me what's on your mind, would you? Sal. Dribble note about Miss Snug. Someone is a permanent solution to the joy problem, says Miss Snug, but won't say who. There's a joy problem. Permanent solution doesn't sound ominous at all. Scribble note about missing staff. Two employees haven't come topside. Behaving erratically. Art project? Notes about leaks. Gas leaks, parts, no maintenance, human error. Porter's notebook. Sunshine. S claims Verloc invented Sunshine for himself. Why? How can he be clear-headed, not haunted by the past? Anyone with any human feelings... Sunshine rumored not to be a contraceptive like Joy. What happens if someone is a baby? Oh god, too awful. Plague. Toxic waste dumped in water, carried by fog. Outbreaks correlate to wind direction from Joy Factory. Permanent solution. Verlock's plan, so secret even S doesn't know what it is. Irreversible. Mass lobotomy. Find a way inside Haworth Labs. Undercover. Poses a patient in Verlock's new studies. Cipher book. Chief, it's become too dangerous to commit things to writing. I'll henceforth put all my correspondence in code to you. And permanent solution. Dear Penelope, I received your note about the latest batch of joy. You did the right thing in writing to me directly. Entre new, I am working on a permanent solution that will render our current joy problem obsolete. But you didn't hear it from me. Warmly, Anton. P.S. Please convey my warm regards to Richard. I've been meaning to have you both round for dinner. It's been too long. What else do we have? New gate safe. Okay, Kitty's Cake. What shall I make for Kitty's birthday? Perhaps Spice Cake? She loves it so. Not like my old Kitty Sebastian, who wouldn't eat his cake. Went into a hidey hole and didn't come out. Do I remember what happened to him? I must remember. Or perhaps I mustn't. Perhaps he'll come home when he smells Kitty's Cake. Every year I think he might. How well, funny he and Ki Kitty share the same birthday. And why did Sally kiss me? Yeah, this is going back a little bit, but whatever. Why did Sally kiss me? It's not possible she really wants me, is it? Because that's a consummation devoutly to be wished. And when you want something that much, you tend to miss the signs that you've lost all touch with reality. But for one shining moment, I was the hero at the end of the movie, and I got the girl. And I pulled away. Why did you pull away, Arthur? Because I was plummeting to Earth and I had seconds to grab a parachute. I told her I was there about the letter of transit back to the city. She thought I was there to see her again. Which one is true? I've been lying to myself about so many things for so long I no longer trust myself at all. Before the Great Lips debacle, I managed to bring 
up her mom. Brilliant. She misses her old mom. The woman tried to poison her and did in her entire fucking family. Why, why did I tell her I'd get her cod liver oil? Because she can get a letter of transit from jolly old General Bing. How is that man still a vaguely important person after what he did in the war? And because I can never say no to Sally, I could say no to Percy, but not Sally. Why in Dog's name can I never say no to Sally? What are the other notes that I'm missing? Oh, recordings. Oh. These are people just missing Uncle Jack. Flowerview's diary. And Soviets take Berlin. All are waiting eagerly for news of the children. Sir Robert Bing states that he's in communication with the Soviet occupation authorities. They're doing everything in their power to locate them. Oh, all the children died. That's probably what the answer is. Do we buy tech friendly? Spankers, peeper, yeah, let's get that. Okay, so where are we going? Back over here. My assumption is the whole reason why they had to make everybody forget is large, largely has to do with Oh, you know what? Um, go over here. Probably largely has to do with the idea that all the kids died? And that's why it's so important to make everybody forget, because otherwise, otherwise everybody goes mental. Okay, two inventories. What do I got in here? A couple of gas masks. You can probably put one away. I'm... Probably not going to use it anytime soon. Nope, two inventory. They sell crafting components. That's a bunch. Oh, makes your makes your pupils teeny tiny, so you look like you're on joy. No effect on actual drug level. Only a rotten downer would ever need such a drug. Hmm. My god, where do I get all these bottles? I know people like to make fun of me for this one, but like, it straight up every time I run into this, it's like I have more more bottles than I remember collecting. Uh, okay, so we want to hold on to the scotch. Because the scotch I'm going to go sell. Admittedly, I have a goofy amount of money and no real things to use it on, but whatever. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Yeah, we'll want to grab the weapons as we go by. And if I remember right, I also have like teacups. I'm sure I have teacups. Oh my god, how many torches do I have? Why? Why are they not sorted as anything else? There's a number of these, like uh, rubber ducks, bobby whistles, and like teacups that don't get sorted as anything else. And so they just end up clogging your inventory forever. Okay, two container. We want all of these. I'm gonna be overburdened. I know it. I can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Oh, flimsy cricket bats are. Okay, so I can't, I can't carry that much. I guess I could probably put back one more of these. Okay, there. Now I move at full speed. I was hoping I'd just be uh, overburdened, but no. Once, once you go over your weight cap, then it's, uh, then it's just too much. Okay, Cuddy Shop. Corner pub, the apothecary. Try the corner pub? For starters. I think, uh, Wander has max inventory. I yep. wish I kept in shape. 
Oof. I think 200 is probably the maximum. Hmm. What have you got? Okay. So he's got he's got food, not a lot of money. I'm just gonna sell all my shovels to him. Just looking. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's head over to the apothecary. We're gonna just sell as many of these as possible. It's interesting that that first shop that I went to was actually one of the best. Okay. Hey, nope. Mr. Churchill. Mr. No, Churchill to the front more. desk, please. Please. This is the apothecary. Okay, I went a little bit too far. What's your fancy? Morning. Okay, so this guy has some stuff. Actually, he's got quite a lot. Which is good. It's so weird that you can't double-click to sell in this game. I guess it's not that weird. It's just odd. Okay, and then all the scotch. What did I buy from this guy? It, pretty much, I don't need anything. Could buy some first aid kits. It's not a terrible idea. Sunshine. I could buy the whole stack of sunshine. Oh, it weighs one nothing. Of and all the med kits. All the medicated bombs. Oh. Here's the plague. What's this one do? Oh, it increases your stamina regen and stuff. Food poisoning, scotch. What's this one do? Stamina regen for a short period of time. Thank you All right, that's very good much enough. for your purchase. Please come again. So you're still playing as Arthur. I think you can only play as Arthur in this game. I don't think you can play any of the other characters. I might need some Crash to unjoy someone. I might at some point. I think I can make Crash though. Oh. Everybody's still passed out over here. Nope, the office woke up finally. Well, that's fine. Did I ever check out what's back there? I probably shouldn't. Terribly busy. What is it? Jeb has been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh my goodness. Why? She was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. My. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel, rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry, he's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc. He's sort of his own law there. Well, I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. You never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. So... Let's see. Can I... Yes, I can finally afford this. Let's pick it up. 15% more damage seems like a good idea. Cause bleeding with puncture and slashing weapons. Oh, that's scary. Alright, and so we're going for Haworth Labs. Oh, right. I should get rid of my, uh, my waypoint. What's this one over here? Oh, that's to the Parade District. Oh, we're not even back in the Parade District. Man, 
man. How long is this game? Actually, probably not too long after this point. I see... Well, there's... Mm, the problem is it's kind of hard to tell, like, ge geographic size. Just because of the weird island setup. You know, usually, if it weren't these just, like, isolated little island areas, it's not so bad. Let's see, am I liking it so far? It's... I mean, it's definitely a, a mixed bag across the board. I like... I like the plot, I like the story, I like the writing and stuff. I just wish the world wasn't procedurally generated. The hand design elements in this game are just so vastly superior to the, uh... The randomly generated ones. It drives me a bit nuts. I'm always a bit afraid I'm going to say that to a developer. Like, to their face without realizing it. I might even have. Who knows? They could have watched the video. You could be the one asking. Who knows? Uh, but, like, I, at this point, I'm just, like, sprinting for as many story bits as I can. Because uh, I want to... I want to see the good stuff, as opposed to aimlessly wandering the world. Which, I mean, I did a fair amount of yesterday. Here to see the doctor. Right. He does love to be in the no, papers, and right on in. Spreading joy to the world since I told 1953. Him the lab was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Is he breathing? Well, he made a sort of sigh. And then some gurgling noises? He came right at me. Just make sure you leave that electro baton near him. In case he turns out to be important. I've learned so much from you over the years. All right, well, they deserve everything that they're going to get. Hello. That's it. Keep running. Oh. That's the one right. we've done. Right. Right. done. Fine, I've had it done you. fooling around. Oh. I'll fix you. Oh, oh that hurts. Down, uh. Put that down. Oh. Blind justice. Oh, I, you can fix. Oh. I won't have it. We've got a downer here. <laughs> <Have a wait. laughs> yeah, they hurt. Almost You're gonna get what's coming to you. Ow! Ow! Burn, baby. I won't have burn. <sighs> there we go. All right. Uh, let's well, see. I should down my blocks in. Probably switch over to the medicated balm. Ow. He is just going to burn forever, isn't he? This is a worse idea than normal. I don't know. Is it? Look, I'm reporting. I'm reporting on uh, violence in the system. And yeah, they just killed Howard Rigby here. Like at this at this point, my uh, my sympathies for the constables have plummeted meteorically. So, um, hitting them with the not-so-jolly brawly? I think that's a, uh, adequate response. Anyway. To all employees, we've had a wee accident. The constables are here to help us. Please cooperate by carrying your ID at all times. So they don't know who's who. Sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the bobbies did. Uh, let's see. Do I still have my sunshine? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Out of order. Okay. Ooh. What can we buy? <laughs> Sandwiches, Nexamide, Victory Meat. Nice to see you. 
Well. Let's see. To all employees from Alice Liddell, supervisor. Well, we all enjoy a good laugh. Pranks in the employee lounge have gotten out of hand. Today, Roger became quite alarmed that his tea time macaroon had made him shrink. After several employees remarked that he seemed to be getting smaller. In fact, some person or persons unknown went through the trouble of replacing his uniform with an identical but larger one. Valuable work time was wasted by this tomfoolery. In the future, please confine your pranks to your off hours. Someone hasn't their... Uh, let's see. And Alice, someone hasn't had their joy today. Chocolate-covered strawberry joy for Valentine's. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab as many of I, of these as I can grab. Yeah, that's a cute little Alice in Wonderland reference. Well, do we have anything else? Doc! Rubber Doc! There's some cabinets. Always need Mind more. the closing doors, please. While we're here, I should probably switch back to the jolliest brawly. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Oh, I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into Do the lab. Not. Turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine... The explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Do take your... Just graph the temperature oh, curve. Look, it's not pop. pop it in it's magic. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. Okay. Engineer. Hey. You no longer need a workbench to craft basic items. Nice. Also, everything's on fire. Just relax. Don't question it. Why is she crying there? That's not going to be fair, day, is it? That door looks rather sturdy. I wonder if there's a way around it. Hmm. Okay. Wait until they forget about my existence and continue on. I can't get the door open. Out this way. A bigger banger, but I bet I can't blow that up. I can get up to that guy either. Find a way past the secret door. It looks like they're okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Throw him into the fire. You know you want to. No, he's a, he's an innocent in this. I'm look. Aggressive investigative reporting does not involve death. That's that's pugilistic justice. Massive differences between both. Sorry to bother. I really think you could take these guys' outfits. Well, if they're going to hate me no matter what, well, we might as well. It's not exactly chain mail. I look like a complete idiot. But I do feel quite a bit better protected. We might as well just kind of pad up and go from here. Didn't you? Aren't you the clever one? Oh, 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 well, I guess this whole place is kind of falling apart, so it shouldn't really surprise anybody that this place is having a bit of a problem. Secret, please burn. Oh. They're, they're burning... They're burning stuff that uh, they don't want people to see. 
Point tools away from you. Why is that a warning? I don't think I want to try and cross that steam. I hope I can turn it off somewhere. Okay. Not here. Don't mind me. Just here for a friendly cut and hug. I wonder which one of these controls the steam. What do they both? Oops. I gotta I gotta stop. It's a warning because it needs to be. People are idiots sometimes. I guess our chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. This place seems like a problem. Okay, so we can go through here? Oh. There better be neatly labeled samples of the fog next time I come down there. Just get a one gallon beaker, stick it in the fog, stopper it, tape the stopper, and label it. Okay, I want the electric suit. Jeez. Uh. Oh. Wait, am I just? Oh, I'm just electrical, electricity proof. In that. Well, that's convenient. Okay, so this isn't even where we want to go. What? No, maybe this is where we want to go. Well, thank you, electric suit, for making this considerably easier. Oh. Maybe I'm supposed to go out this direction? No? Ah! Here we go. Took a wrong turn. Did I? Yes. Because this is what gets the door open. Maybe I can sneak past these gents without a fuss. Lockpicks, bricks, some scotch. Is that a fuss, he says. Dr. Burlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then, or resolve the situation yourself. So which which gentleman am I am I making my way past? I don't know. Oh, you can actually- oh, wait, no. You can see there's a reflection of my hands and my umbrella. Yeah, this is one of those games where you don't have a body outside of certain animations. I guess this is the latest test formula. I, I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. Toasted hickory. Apples. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. So I guess they just spot you if you uh if you go the other way. I love the fact that the rubber suit just protects me. Makes my life a lot easier. So Arthur is invisible save for his arms and umbrella, except for when he wants to be visible. Yeah. Not immediately clear. There we go. But, uh, yes. Ah! Uh, let me pass. There we go. I'm just gonna let that guy panic up there. Alright. So, where is this? Oh. It looks like I didn't want to do this after all. 
I went the I went the wrong direction. Come on. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think you're supposed to backtrack. It just looked like I was supposed to. Unfortunately, uh... Let's say I'm a little blind? No, I don't know. Whee! It'd be interesting watching a speedrun of this game. Glitchy mess. That's what it would be. I, I say that about, like, every game that I'm, like, kind of sprinting right. through. I'm supposed to go up somewhere. Someone there. Oh. Happiness is a choice. I didn't realize Sorry. I opened this door. It was it just looks like one of the big circular windows. It was not. Morning. Please don't struggle. I really wish you could get more, like, disguises in this game. Like, I actually, that's one of my favorite mechanics about this is, you know, blending in. And it's a bit of a shame that uh, you can't blend in more. Yeah, what was with the, uh, what was with the butterflies? Uh, I was, I was getting poisoned by joy a little bit there. And, uh, not exactly supposed to be. Uh, you know, we should probably wear the padded stuff. We have been pugilizing a little bit harder than usual. Funny. Suddenly I remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally. And it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? 